Now I'm going to make a very quick video showing you how to use Qt PDF to concatenate PDF files together and create just one file. I'm going to activate Qt PDF, then I'm going to click Merge PDFs. When I do that, I can specify PDFs from any location, any particular quantity of them. What you see here is what I've already done for Unit 2 of GPH 205. I've concatenated things that are separate PDFs, each having been created by Word. I'm going to put them into one file. Now right now, I think what I'll do is just three of these. What I'm going to do is to take this item about Greece and Rome, this item about Hagia Sophia, and this item about the role of icons in the Eastern Church. I can go here and resequence them. What I usually do, though, is to name the files in the folder in which I place them with prefixes like this, so that I don't really have to worry about this sequencing every time I want to merge the files together. Instead, they just naturally fall into the sequence in which I want them. Having done that, I now am asked, where do I want to put the output file? And I'll just say, this is Jim's demo file. Save. They're concatenated. I could look at it within Qt PDF Pro, but what I'm going to do instead is simply to get out of here, to go into that folder, and I will find Jim's demo file having been created today, 3.26 p.m., which is pretty much right now. If I look at this one, I can open it up, and let's go here to View Full Screen Mode. I had concatenated something that had to do with ancient Greek and Roman history, this article about Hagia Sophia, and this article about icons and their role in the Eastern Church. Notice they don't have any page numbers, though. Let's go back. Let's once again open Qt PDF Pro. Now what I'm going to do is to open just that file that I had created, this one, Jim's demo file. And I'm going to go to this header and footer specification. Now, I've already set this up with the location four inches from the left margin and a half an inch down where I want the page number. When I do this, it paginates these things for me. If I were to go through and look at the pages, you would see page numbers on each page, starting with one. I'm going to save this file. I'll save it under the same name. And now when I get out of here and I look for that file, let me now look at it. Page display, two-page viewing. There's the first page, second and third pages, fourth and fifth pages, and you'll notice a bit of awkwardness here. And let me expand on this by making the pages bigger and you'll see what I'm talking about. This was originally paginated. That's why I'm getting this duplicate set of numbers. The 2 is there from when I had this as a freestanding file, and the 3 is there because it fits into the overall numbering scheme. This is why I recommend that the copy of the PDF that you use to enter into the merge process, the pages should not be paginated already because you're going to get a new set of page numbers consistent to the entire assemblage, and you don't want them confusing the issue with page numbers of these things that might have appeared earlier. That's how you use Qt PDF Pro to assemble a workbook from all your different pieces having been written separately in Word. Those separate pieces could be output by Word, by Excel, by PowerPoint, all joined together into one PDF for an electronic workbook or a workbook that you send to a publisher like Stipes Publishing and have it turned into print.